Amin. The next question is for Ustaz Sharif. What happens to someone, specifically women, who claim themselves they complete their five daily prayers, they do a lot of charity, but they do not cover her aura? What happens to their pahala? Pahala is the Malay expression for good deeds, their ajar. Is their ajar lost? Does Allah accept her good deeds? I hope my question will be discussed in the forum later, or you can just reply here, ha ha, okay. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Saya boleh cakap bahasa Melayu, but but only sikit sikit. So I will answer in English if you don't mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> mashallah. So the reality is, one of the tactics of shaitan is that he will try to get a believer to leave something good under the guise of you are not good enough actually to be doing that good deed. Look at these other sins that you have. How dare you think you are pure enough to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this sincere action. So the believer should never give up doing a good deed because of other sins that they have. This is number one. Number two, a sign that the prayer is being performed correctly, as we mentioned in the lecture, is that it prevents a person from committing wicked and evil actions. So the litmus test for your prayer, as we mentioned, there's a difference between performing prayer and establishing the prayer in your life properly. Prayer is an institution, as we mentioned, it should revolutionize the believer and change their way completely. So you need to reassess your prayer and see, are you performing it inwardly and outwardly the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants? If the answer is yes, then you will see the impact in your life, bi ta'ala. And this is for brothers and sisters and all of us. We should renew our intention to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask that He accepts our prayers because our prayer, as we mentioned, the heart of it is, Oh Allah, guide me to the straight path. 17 times a day at a minimum you are begging Allah for that. What does guidance mean if you are already a believer? It means remaining on the straight path. It means being more guided because definitely we are not perfect. So that person should reassess themselves and say, I still have these shortcomings. How can I change them? What can I do? And not use it as an excuse not to pray because they feel that they are not worthy of performing prayer. May Allah forgive all of us. I mean...